Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwader. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Ramesh Ramani. He is with Expert Us One. Welcome, Ramesh. Hi, Gerard. Very nice to meet you. How are you? I'm doing terrific. So you are the co-founder and, um, and the CEO of the company. Um, you founded the company about 20 years ago? 20 years ago, uh, we were the, almost the first ones to start in the learning management space as a services provider. And who was the leader in the in the market at the time? At the time, it was Saba uh, as a product company, as well as uh, uh, initial, it was not some total, it was known by a different name, and Plateau. There are two or three product companies that came out with the product in the nine, late 90, 98, 2000 timeframe. What was your early advantage? And uh, can you tell me a, a little bit about your early successes? These LMS mark, LMS, was created as a market until that point it was uh, uh, spreadsheets companies were managing their training through spreadsheets uh, and other means but LMSs came about to be a an ERP kind of platform in the early 2000s and one of our large customers at that time was Cisco was implementing Saba so we brought the advantage we understood what a large company like Cisco was trying to solve with this application as well as what the product vendor challenges were to come up with an application that was suitable for an operation like that. So they invested quite a bit of money and we were fortunate to be in the middle of it. So we understood the ins and outs of what the challenge was, what the technology was, how they were all packaged together. And that's what we took to the market subsequently. And then we had traction with many of the global 500 companies. That gave us the initial advantage. What makes your platform unique and different from everybody else? It's uh, very consistent with the times. It's a digital learning platform. And uh, for those of us who are familiar with the LMS, LMS is a deep end platform. You know, it's very hard to appreciate it from the surface, but it's actually a deep end platform with all the nuances that are required for the enterprises to manage their training, both for their employees, customers, and partners. The nuances of what you need for a customer training versus partner training versus employee training are three different worlds. But you have a core platform that is supplying that type of functionality to all of them. The digitalization now has enabled the access to content, made it more, much more democratic. The control is in the hands of the user, but the provider also has quite a bit of uh, uh, technology now to put together to be able to make it interesting, you know, at the end of the day, it's about engagement with any of those parties. So the engagement quotient can be increased based on how this platform is implemented. Can you share a quick success story of how um, a company that we all know um, is using your system right now? One of our large enterprises uses the product, this platform for over 150,000 employees globally. And they also uh, sell training to their partners and customers. So it's, uh, it's used from end to end, from a professional development sense for the employees to train those employees on their products, which is a pretty big industrial type of company. And these are all enabling technologies to provide that, that uh, experience to a prospect much more compelling and easy, of course. Is uh, your platform... Uh, bought by um, by HR, by marketing, by sales, by a committee? It is employee-related, certainly by the HR, or there is a CLO. There is an L&D department that has the common requirements come, come and flow to them on which they base the decision on what type of platform will suit their needs. But if it is sales, it's a VP of sales that you know, can benefit from the app exchange uh, uh, placement that we have of the Expert as One app. And uh, therefore you can carve out the salespeople. For example, one of our customers saw a 30% increase in, um, uh, in access and 20% increase in productivity. So it depends on who it is, uh, what purpose they're buying the LMS for, but it could be more than one type of buyer. And I would also imagine in a sales organization, if they have a sales enablement department and sales operations that they get involved as well. Exactly, that's right, that's exactly right. When it comes to content, how do you make your content stand out and be relevant so it is available in the critical moments when the people need it? 
the types of access as well as the how the content itself is designed is going to play a part but how flexible it is from a delivery from search finding and searching and the efficiencies of 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 accessing it is where our platform comes into the picture so it's a, it's a it's a two part story here you know you have the infrastructure that should help cater to the newer content but the content itself has to be in good shape for this platform to be valuable anybody who wants to uh, get more information there should go to your website and i want to thank you for spending time with us and uh, sharing your passion for lms and for helping people learn and grow thank you so much jared thanks thanks for your time it was wonderful meeting you